Question mark introduction. Serum concentration monitoring avoids both excessive and sub-therapeutic antibiotic concentrations thus preventing toxicity and ensuring efficacy. Out of hours testing is available on a restricted basis and the on-call microbiology biomedical scientist should be contacted. via REI switchboard once the specimen has been taken. Vancomycin. Trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Trough level for MRSA endocarditis. Peak level. Tycoplanin. Monitored in severe infections only trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Peak level gentamicin. Once daily dose regime. Once daily 7 mg per kilogram dose. When CRCL more than 20 ml per minute. Take sample between 6 and 14 hours post first dose once daily 3 mg per kilogram dose. When CRCL less than 20 ml per minute. Question mark introduction. Serum concentration monitoring avoids both excessive and sub-therapeutic antibiotic concentrations thus preventing toxicity and ensuring efficacy. Out of hours testing is available on a restricted basis and the on-call microbiology biomedical scientist should be contacted. via REI switchboard once the specimen has been taken. Vancomycin. Trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Trough level for MRSA endocarditis. Peak level. Tycoplanin. Monitored in severe infections only trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Peak level gentamicin. Once daily dose regime. Once daily 7 mg per kilogram dose. When CRCL more than 20 ml per minute. Take sample between 6 and 14 hours post first dose once daily 3 mg per kilogram dose. When CRCL less than 20 ml per minute. Question mark take sample 18 to 24 hours post dose. Gentamicin. Multi-dose regime. Gram positive endocarditis. Trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Peak level. LR post dose. Expected range 10 to 15 mg per liter 15 to 20 mg per liter routinely performed. 20 mg per liter. Not performed. 2 1 other indications. Trough level. Immediately before next dose due. Mg per liter peak level. LR post dose. Question mark vancomycin. Serum vancomycin levels should be measured after 3 or 4 doses for patients with normal renal function. Those with renal impairment may require earlier measurement of levels and should be discussed with the microbiologist or pharmacist. Question mark trough levels should be taken immediately before the fourth dose and should normally be in the range 10 to 15 mg per litre. Higher question mark trough levels of 15 to 20 mg per litre are desirable when treating M or SA endocarditis. Question mark peak TT levels are normally unnecessary, except for babies on SCBU, and should not be sent routinely. Tycoplam Monitoring of serum tycoplanin levels is required for patients being treated for endocarditis or serious staphylococcal infections, i.e. prosthetic joint infections. Patients in these groups will generally be on the higher dose of 10 to 12 mg per kg body weight per day, normally 800 mg. Monitoring of trough levels only is performed. A trough tycoplanin level should be obtained immediately before the fifth dose for a patient with normal renal function. A trough level of greater than 20 mg per liter is desirable for a good outcome. After achieving a steady serum concentration tycoplanin levels should be monitored once a week if renal function remains within normal range. Tycoplanin levels are performed by reference laboratory resulting in a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time. Tycoplanin should not be withheld whilst awaiting the result. Patients on lower doses of tycoplanin for less severe infection do not generally require monitoring. Gentamicin. Multi-dose regimen. Indicated for infic fiv endocarditis, children, gross ascites, cystic fibrosis, major burns. In patients with normal renal function, gentamicin concentration should be measured after 3 or 4 doses. Patients with renal impairment may require earlier and more frequent monitoring. Peel sample should be taken higher after intravenous administration and trough sample should be taken immediately before the next dose is due. Endocarditis. Question mark Gentamicin. 
dose 1 mg per kg ideal body weight every 8 to 12 hours, is used in combination other antibiotics for the treatment of bacterial endocarditis. Question mark peak concentration should be 3 to 5 mg per liter and trough should be 20 mv. Patients with a creatinine clearance less than 20 mv should receive a lower of 3 mg kg and a level should be checked later 24 hours later. Further doses should be withheld until a trough level less than mg per liter is achieved. Initial dose 7 mg per kg gentamicin in 100 ml glucose 5% or sodium chloride 0.9% administered by intravenous infusion over an hour. Document time when the infusion commenced. Monitoring. Take a single blood sample at any time 6, 14 h after the start of first IV. Infusion. Question mark NBIT is essential that the time between administration and taking the blood sample is recorded accurately and documented on the request FORM. Further doses. Follow instructions on Hartford nomogram to determine dosing interval. Administer the same dose of gentamicin, 7 mg per kg body weight, at the calculated dosing interval. Exclusions to this protocol. Endocarditis, pregnancy, children. Patients, SAITs, major burns or cystic fibrosis, patients on dialysis, human rights, ACT. Implications of the Human Rights Act have been taken into account in the formulation of this policy and they have, where appropriate, been fully reflected in its wording. Accessibility Statement This document can be made available in a range of alternative formats e.g. Large PRMT, Braille and Audio Cassette audit monitoring and review. The processes contained within this SOP will be audited, monitored and reviewed in line with the audit and monitoring template contained within Anfemicrobial Prescribing Policy TWI 0136 Equality and Diversity Assessment. The completed assessment is contained within the associated Antimicrobial Prescribing Policy. Result Interpretation Use of Hartford Nomogram Use of Hartford Nomogram for High Dose Once Daily Regimen Hours between start of infusion and sample draw if the level falls in the area designated Q24H, Q36H or Q48H, the dosing interval will be every 24, 36 or 48 hours respectively. If the point is on the line, choose the longer interval. If the level is off the nomogram at the given time, stop the scheduled therapy and obtain serial levels until less than LMG per liter, when a further dose can be administered. Where appropriate, monitor blood level twice weekly. Question mark how we medicine monitoring guidelines for parenteral antimicrobial therapy for patients receiving greater than one week of therapy these guidelines intended for the ambulatory setting, setting as well. These recommendations do not replace clinical judgment and are intended to provide guidance which may be modified depending on the individual patient. See the table below.